Hi y'all, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to work on this power antenna. Not sh quite sure what's going on with it. Um, I noticed that it was left unplugged. Um, I have a feeling the antenna itself got damaged. And it's not going down anymore. So the previous owner just unplugged it to leave it up. Take it out, see what we can do, maybe get it back up and running again. This is located in the trunk, guys. Um, all you gotta do is just take the padding away or the, the trim or and just pull it back. You get access to the motor and there's uh, one bolt in the back here. You'll feel it, and that's that's what holds it on. So we'll just take that bolt out, and we'll get this thing out of the car and see what's going on with it. Yeah, I gotta um, I gotta unbolt it from the bottom. Well, with the assault. Ten millimeter. There's two of them. Hold on, we gotta get the ground wire out. See it right there? And then um, hopefully we got room to pull it out with the antenna mm -hmm. still up. Mm. Alright, let's take the ground wire out. down. Let go. Another ball. Another ball. Alright, here, here it is out of the car. I've already taken most of it apart, but just to show you what I went through. Um, I removed these, I removed all the screws. Well, this comes off, this is for the antenna receiver that comes from the radio. Now, to get into here is a, is a little tricky. Um, you're gonna have these clips all the way around. Those come off pretty simple. There they are, one, two, three, four. There's five of those, just pry those off. But the case is also riveted on. As you can see, there's one here, there's one in the middle, one there, and this one broke as I was taking it out. Um, the best way I found to do it, I'm sure maybe you can find something a better way. Um, I just put a screwdriver in it and just started tapping with a hammer and eventually it works its way out. So once you get all that out, the cover will lift off and you can see the damage is right here. Just separate it. The wire that brings the antenna up and down. Um, this gear goes in here and then when it activates it just spins and it brings in you can see it brings the antenna up and down. Uh, I mean I'm gonna attempt to try to fix this but 
we'll see what happens. All right, this is the repair I'm gonna attempt. I actually took one of these buck connectors, took the insulation off, and kind of spliced the two pieces together. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna wind it back all up, put it all back together, we'll get it on the car, and we'll see one way or another if it goes up and down. All right, guys, unfortunately, um, it didn't work. I, I didn't think it would. Um, it kept breaking. It just, I just gave up. It wasn't worth going crazy over. Um, I put it back in. I just left it, as you can see, one with the red wires. You just leave that unplugged so that way it doesn't burn out the motor or trying to get it up and down all the time. Um, plug back your antenna. And this one you can just leave plugged in. Um, I did cut the rest of those, um, I cut the cable out, that way if I want to, I can at least go up and down manually, I mean I can't get it all the way down, I found out that after taking it apart, this antenna was broken off, and it seems like it was just shoved back in there, so I can't force it all the way down, that's about all it goes. Um, I think I just pick it up on my own. If I find one at the junkyard, maybe I'll put one in. If not, uh, the radio still works. Well, hope that uh, helps somebody out. Thanks for watching, guys.